Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Capricorn. This is going to be your middle to the ending of November spread. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, I'm so excited to announce, I just restocked the Good Luck and Prosperity Ritual set to my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. Also, make sure to check out my new single, Light My Fire, out now only on SoundCloud. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading. Also, I made a second Instagram just for witchy things like pulling daily tarot cards, channeled messages, energy shifts, spells, updates on the YouTube channel, and my Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can follow me at Cosmic Tides underscore. That information will also be down below, okay? Okay. Also, I'm picking up a very nervous energy. Um, it doesn't feel like you guys. It feels like whoever you're dealing with, okay? Um, and Okay, so we are in Mercury Retrograde. Um, and that ends on the 21st, okay? So I'm seeing someone that you had a history with is wanting to reach out to you. For some of you, this could have happened already, okay? But I'm seeing someone is wanting to reach out to you, someone you had a history with, a sexual history with. They're wanting to communicate to you, so they're wanting to reach out and talk to you here, okay? Because they're watching you, um, yeah, they're watching you from afar right now, definitely online it looks like, because I'm seeing like the Matrix. <laughs> okay, so this person is watching you online, definitely like stalking you a little bit. This person is watching you give birth to your dreams. They're watching you heal. They're watching you take care of yourself, and it really shows right now. You're looking really good. Yeah, you're looking really good after you were heartbroken, after something ended with you and this person. This is karmic completion. The soul contract was complete here. Um, I see you walking out of a chaotic, confusing situation into your next chapter. Um, and now this person is wanting to reach out to you for forgiveness. This person wants a reconciliation. This person wants to um, come back together here. But be careful because this person still just wants to have fun. Okay, and I see this person is going to be trying to put an effort, trying to make it up to you here. But I see you guys are just wanting to stretch your wings and fly away. You guys are just wanting to move forward and assert your independence on the world. Okay, because I see you guys are definitely healing. Definitely you could be um, dappling in magic right now, your spirituality, exploring your gifts. And I just see some of you, yeah, some of you, you could have been doing like a glamour spell on yourself. I'm just seeing it's like you're looking really good. You're really taking care of yourself and it's really showing you here. Um, yeah, really showing here. And I see, like I said, it's like this person is wanting to come back to you, wanting a reconciliation, wanting to make it up to you. But I see, like I said, you're just wanting to go forward into your next chapter. Uh, you just want to stretch your wings and fly away. And I see you standing your ground on this decision because this person has you, had you as an option. So I see you made the decision to not be an option to this person. And I see you're closing yourself off to them. Where in the past, and actually I've seen it the same way in, um, I think it was... Um, the Aries reading, uh, I think it was the Aries reading, but honestly, all of the fire signs readings, they all went into each other, okay, and it looks like you guys could be either dealing with any of the fire signs, have them in your chart, or be dealing with someone who does, so you definitely might want to check out all the fire sign readings just to get extra information in your situation so you can connect the dots a little better. Okay, because um, I'm seeing like a lot of the same thing and a lot of the, uh, a lot of the same cards too, and I really shuffle the deck good, so... Um, definitely check out those readings for extra information, but I'm definitely seeing here, like I said, you're going to be standing your ground um, because this person has had you as an option in the past, and I see you making the decision to not be an option to this person. I see you closing yourself off to this person because you already complete yourself, and I see in the past you tried to, um, I just see it's like you came with an open heart to this person in the past and you wanted them to open up to you, but this person was being closed off, so now I see you being closed off to them because you realize that you complete yourself here. You realize that you complete yourself here. Um, that you don't need this person. And that person is really feeling up in their head about this. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. And I see this person is wanting to message you to start something new here after something fell apart. But I see it's like, yeah, I'm seeing it also the same way. It's like you went, this person gave you a tower moment. It's like you were in this tower as a human. And then you, then this fell apart. You fell out of the tower. Okay, and then basically you died here, okay? This is also Scorpio season, death to rebirth. So it's like you died here, you became this angel, and now you're wanting to fly away from this situation that hurt you. Um, you're ready to go on into your next chapter. I see you wanting to protect your energy from this person. 
Um, wow, and I'm also seeing too, this was part of your ascension process as well, and that was definitely in the Aries reading. I'm just really seeing, it's like the situation, um, yeah, I'm just seeing the situation really hurt you. Like I said, you fell out of this tower, you became an angel, and now I see you're ready to ascend into your next chapter. I see you wanting to protect your energy from this situation, from this person, because this person had you as an option, and I see you getting yourself out of this situation, refusing to be an option here. This person has low self-esteem, which makes them keep all their options, okay, because it feeds their ego. And it's like, even if they come towards you here, it's like, you know, they're not going to be leaving their options. So I definitely see it's like, you're you're protecting your energy here. You have your sword up. Um, and I just see it's like, you're it's taking great inner strength. But I see it's like you're just wanting to release yourself from this situation. I see you're listening to your intuition. I see you being really in tune to your intuition right now. Um, because you learned your lesson from this situation. And like I said, you're just wanting to free yourself. Because the soul contract is complete here. Whatever this person came into your life for, they had their time and their place. And it is completed here. You learned what you were supposed to from this person. And now the tree is old and it's dying. Okay, and I just see it's like... Yeah, it's like for a lot of you guys, I definitely see you're very spiritual. And it's like, like I just said, you understand that this person had their time and place. And you're just wanting to move forward because you learned the lessons that you were supposed to from this situation. And I see you're not wanting to revisit those lessons. So I see you're closing yourself off to this person. Like I said, protecting your energy. And that's actually making the karmic wheel turn into turn in your favor here. Okay, and I see fortune is on your side. I see you getting the blessings from the burdens of this of the situation and this is actually a, a time of positive change for you so i really really like this okay um so that was like pretty straightforward um all the fire sign readings were pretty short um so definitely you might want to go like i said check those out um it'll help you get extra information in your situation but i'm definitely seeing the nervous energy is definitely on this person's side that you're dealing with because it feels like, like I said, they feel like they miss an opportunity with you. And I see they're really wanting to message you to start something new here. But I just see it's like you're not wanting to go for it. Like I said, you understand this person had their place and time. You're just wanting to move forward so you can ascend in your process. I see you wanting to, like I said, um, protect your energy from this, refusing to be an option releasing yourself because you you know there's a lesson within all of this and i just see it's like you're not wanting to revisit all the lessons that you learned here you're not wanting to restart the cycle with this person so i see you're closing the, yourself off to this person and actually that's leaving this person to basically um yeah this person definitely is thinking about you a lot here i see this person it's like you closed yourself off to this person and now all they have is your memories here so i see them replaying that in their head so definitely if you're thinking about this person like if this person pops up in your head um, it's definitely because they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the memories here. And a lot of you, you're so sensitive to energies right now, you'll be able to feel that. Um, it's like you might be doing something and they just pop up in your head or you're like, ew, why am I thinking about them? Um, and it's because they're thinking about you here. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. Um, actually, too, for some of you, um, for some of you, I'm seeing two people are coming towards you. Someone from your deeper past and someone that you were just dealing with, um, a sexual connection. Okay, so um, I'm seeing both people are watching you. Um, basically the same storyline. Both people are watching you. Both people are watching you flourish, heal. You're basically glowing up right now, basically. This is your glow up is what I'm seeing. You're just really healing. You're doing your thing. You're looking really good. And these people are watching you, wanting to reach out to you, wanting to reconcile with you. This is also like the same soul lesson, uh, different bodies. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing this as, um, like I said, same soul lesson, different bodies. So you definitely could have like dated this person first. Could it be a water sign? Specifically, I'm seeing Scorpio. Okay, um, and then you could have been dealing with the Sagittarius. But either way, I'm just seeing it's like you manifested the person that you're dealing with now. Um... Yeah, because like what happens, uh, what happens when we don't learn our soul lesson from a situation is we will manifest the same person in a different body, and that's what I'm seeing happen here. Okay, so definitely be careful of the people coming towards you right now because, uh, like I said, um, these people just want to have fun right now. Okay, same soul lesson, different bodies, um, but basically that's it. Yeah, basically that's it. So. Some signs you could be dealing with here, I see Scorpio, Sagittarius, I see Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Leo, um, Scorpio again, Scorpio again, so definitely you could be dealing with a Scorpio here, have it in your chart or whoever you're dealing with might, um, Sagittarius again, Leo again, 
Libra again. Okay, so um, that's all I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope you were able to find something to resonate with. Like I said, definitely I recommend you guys to watch the fire sign readings because you'll definitely find um, extra information there, okay? Um, excuse me. Yeah, all right. So make sure you check your chart, your partner's chart. Um, make sure to check out my Etsy store. I just restocked the Good Luck and Prosperity Ritual sets. And we have blankets up that are super comfy and cozy. Um, and make sure you check out um, my new single, Light My Fire, out on SoundCloud now. All that information will be down below. And definitely um, check out my new Instagram. Like I said, um, I'm going to be posting like witchy stuff, like pulling daily tarot cards, channeled messages, energy shifts. Um, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, definitely give that a follow. Information is going to be down below, okay? All right, so I will catch you guys next week. All right, bye.